What about the, 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 the methodology that's talked about in, the, in these popular movements in, uh, in the Arab world, where it is said that it is Western technology, uh, Facebook, Twitter, famously, and the Internet, and all the rest of it, that has enabled people to express dissent, and thereby, in the case of Egypt, to unseat one leader, you say to be replaced by another, who may be equally no, congenial I'm, to the West. We don't no, I think, look, I'm perfectly in favor of the technology that was developed... Uh, Actually, a lot of it at my own institution Indeed. under Pentagon funding. Yeah, nothing wrong with the technology. I use a computer. I use the Internet. Do you not find that there is something in the way that people behave, that the behavior that is enabled by this technology, that is itself rather you know, affirming of the principles you believe in? Technology is quite neutral. I mean, a hammer doesn't care whether it's uh, used uh, to build a house or to bash in the head of a, uh, a prisoner. But the and the same is true of technology. The enablement of the dis dissemination of information, the dissemination of you know, shared belief, that's a good thing, isn't it? Of course. That's why I said I think the Internet's a fine thing. I think the Pentagon did a great job in... Uh, uh, funding the development of the Internet for decades. Doesn't that re reflect rather well on Western democracies? Well, if you think the Pentagon is a great exponent of Western democracy, yes. Uh, in fact, the, the, uh, the original intent of the Internet was, in fact, to facilitate uh, communication. Yeah. Uh, while it was, the Internet's an interesting case. While it was it's basically a, mostly funded by the Pentagon, uh, in fact, it was the Ar ARPANET, the Army Net was the first one actually developed where I work. Uh, as long as we, uh, after the Pentagon, the Pentagon then handed it over to the National Science Foundation. Uh, during that period, about 30 years, the Internet was quite free. Uh, it was commercialized under methods not yet really understood in the mid-90s. Uh, since then, there have been many significant efforts to try to constrain and control it. And right now the question of Internet freedom is a very live issue in the, in the United States and elsewhere. Will it be kept free and open as it was when it was in the state system? But it has enabled these people to mobilize. And sure. That's been a good thing, hasn't it? Yes, it's enabled them in Wisconsin too. In fact, every uh, I mean, I'm involved in all kinds of activism all the time. It almost always takes place over the Internet. Uh, the Internet also gives access to uh, uh, lots of information that was otherwise unavailable. I mean, the Internet has a downside, too. It can be used for surveillance, can be used for control, it can be used for propaganda. Uh, it's, uh, it can, there, there is a serious question about whether the uh, providers, there's not many of them, uh, are now in a position to use the Internet to... Uh, uh, direct people to what they want, not what the people want. That's a serious issue. It's getting even more serious with new mergers like Comcast and NBC. So the Internet in itself is, in principle, a fine development. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Uh, so are um, 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 trains, let's say. Uh, so is the telephone. Uh, so is the printing press. Uh, all of these are very fine developments in principle. They can be used for liberatory ends, they can be used to control and coerce and destroy, and they're used for all of those ends. Can I uh, finish with a, with a personal question? You're how old now? 82. Why haven't you mellowed? Because I look at the world, and there's too much, there's things happening in the world which should lead anyone to become indignant, outraged, active, and uh, 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 and simply engaged. I mean, look, we're in a position right now uh, where there are, uh, among the many threats we face, which go on all the time, uh, there are two which uh, literally threaten species survival. That's serious, and they're both being escalated. Uh, one is the threat of nuclear war, which is quite serious and escalating, and the second is the threat of environmental disaster, which is moving in extremely ominous directions. Now, take a look at the uh, new Congress, for example. Uh, just about every new 
uh, a congressional representative who came in last uh, November is a climate denier. In fact, Congress has already moved to ban funding uh, for the most mild environmental efforts. And furthermore, uh, unfortunately, many of these people are true believers. So the head of one of the uh, uh, congressional subcommittees, New Republican, uh, explained uh, that the global warming can't be a problem because uh, God promised Noah that there wouldn't be another flood. Uh, others are just supported, are supported by... Uh, but why do you care about stupid people? Stupid people. These people have power. And they're carrying out uh, actions. They are carrying out the actions which are defunding uh, possible efforts to uh, do something about these crimes. Furthermore, they're backed by major concentrations of power. Uh, the major business lobbies, for example, have announced that they're uh, funding big propaganda campaigns to convince people that this doesn't matter. Uh, these are serious issues. Uh, incidentally, if you want to look at stupid people, we find them all over the place. Uh, for example, we happen to be right in the middle of a, a huge financial crisis, mm. people have noticed. And you trace that back. A lot of it comes from a fanatic religious belief uh, in what's called the efficient market hypothesis. That's pure fanaticism dominated the economics profession, dominated the Federal Reserve. Mm -hmm. uh, one consequence was that uh, when an $8 trillion housing bubble developed, uh, totally unrelated to any fundamentals, uh, completely uh, off the 100-year history of uh, housing prices, uh, the profession and the, Fed, the Fed, the central bank, uh, said it's not necessary to pay attention because of efficient markets. I mean, is that very different from uh, God promised Noah? That's great. Thank you very much.